Hi everyone, welcome back to Carrie Kirby Creates and today I'm going to be making a couple of really quick cards using a couple of my older Lavinia stamps that I haven't used in a while and this one is called Fairy Tale and she's a moon fairy I think. Yeah, moon fairy, this one. So I'm going to be using some pre-made cards out of these little card sets that I often pick up in some of the local um, craft shops. You can get them reduced. I know just buying them like that is always more expensive, but during the sale sometimes I can pick them up. There's different sizes and different amounts, but there's six in each of those and um, they come with the envelopes and they're a nice colour and I think I paid about 125 each for them in the sale. So not too bad at all really, you know, because if you want to make a fast card, they're a great way to go. So I'm going to start off first with fairy tale. I'm going to be using this little stencil as well. So I have cut down a piece of cardstock, just slightly smaller, so you get the lovely pink border around it. So what I want to do is I want to come along, first of all, with my stencil and pop that down over the piece of cardstock. And I just want to secure it down with a couple of pieces of tape. Just the top and the bottom there. Now I've also, I want to use sponge sugar for this one, but I've decided I'm going to use the Distress Ink and not the Distress Oxide and the reason for that being is because I'm going stamping over it and I find with as much as I love the Oxide inks, if you're stamping on top I just find that you get an impression from the ink whereas with the normal Just Distress Ink I don't find that that happens but anyway we'll go ahead with this. Just going to pop that down there. And I just want to lightly come in and do a background there. Like I said, these are fast, just fast five minute cards. You can end up with a very pretty result and with very little effort really. So let's have a look and see what I've got there. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Just a very faint background. So next what I'm doing is I'm coming in with my stamping platform and I want to pop that into the corner. And I'm coming in with fairy tale. So let's just pop her down there. So I want to ink her up. And I'm using my Versafine Claire in the Nocturne and I'm using the black because I want her to be the, I guess, the main feature of this. And let's give it a good bit of ink. I love doing these quick cards. You can do a stack of them, you know, and like that, if you do your backgrounds, just quickly go over them, stick your stamp down, you can come along and just, you know, leave the stamp where it is and keep putting in the cardstock. You can do a half a dozen of them or whatever amount you want. And because that cardstock is a bit textured, I'll show you what I mean. But it was scraps that I had there that I cut down and I wanted to use. Can see the texture on them there but it'll still it'll be beautiful when it's done but because of that i'll have to give it a couple of goes and yeah that's much better so i just want to 
pop a drop of water down there on that and give it a wipe off. And next what I want to do is, I want to come in with a little sentiment stamp. So let's see. Sorry about the light behind there. It's just, it's quite sunny outside, not complaining. I think I'll use the best wishes. But it just throws a glare on my project when it's like that. Now, I'm going to pop that down. Just there, like I said, quick and easy. Pick it up and again, I'm coming in with the Nocturne. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to put that one to the side for a minute. And next I'm coming in with my other piece. And what I want to do with this is, again, I'm using just the plain Distress Ink, not the Oxide. And I'm going to pop some of that down just on my mat there. Some water. just coming in with this paintbrush that I have and I'm picking up some of that paint there and just to create a background I'm going to come along and just splatter and do I want to add more yeah I think I'll add a bit more let's see yeah larger splatters that's nice so if you kind of hit it hard, you will get those larger splatters. If you hit it light, you get the smaller ones. Just another bit there. Yeah, quite happy with that now. So I'm going to need to leave that dry. I could just come in with my heat gun. A wipe. Oh, <laughs> look at what's happened here. I've ended up um, with a splatter on here as well, but I quite like it if I'm honest. So, yeah, I probably would have done something else with that in the end. Yeah, pleased with that there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm because I want to do a fast card. I'm coming in with my heat tool and then just going to give that a blast. And that way it just, you know, dries it off quickly for you. So I'm coming back in with the stamping platform. And again, we'll pop that into the corner. And I never remove this other little stamp, so let's remove you. And yeah, it's this Moon Fairy that I'm going to use for this one. She's very pretty and if I'm honest I haven't used her very much. You can see by it. I have used her but yeah not as much maybe as some of the others. And why I don't know because she's a lovely fairy. That one I've decided to just use this because it's hard to see what way she was turned. So... She's going to go down that way. And yeah, 
that should be good and they are handy these little guides if you're not sure sometimes with the clear stamp it's hard to see what way they're turned yeah that one is fine and again with my VersaFine clear in the Nocturne just going to ink that up she's very good so again I want to find a little sentiment for that and I think I'll just use the birthday wishes for that one it's always handy having birthday card in your stash I'm going to just leave that one along the middle of the end there and again with the nocturne I'll just ink it up My magnet stuck together. Let's just move this to the side. So now I've got my two lovely carrot fronts, I guess. And I'm thinking, do I want to come in with more of the. No, I think we'll leave it as it is. So all I need to do next is come in with my card bases. And obviously the pink will go on that. And the blue ended up being speckled as well. I should have moved things out of the way, but it doesn't matter. Be covered up anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly. Where are we? Just use that because it's fast and these are fast cards. Oops. Make sure we're turned correctly. And the same with this one. want to come in and press them down and there we have it how quick and easy was that and how pretty are they so easy to create that background and with no time at all now I could come in if I wanted to and do a bit of decoration just give you an idea where are we well, number one, I've got some, it's just um, perfect pearls basically in there with water. It just creates a bit of shimmer. And with this one, let's see, just going to pop that down. A few splatters here and there. Bit of magic. Yeah, that's nice. And let's do the same with that one. Okay. I could do a lot more with them if I wanted. You know, I could come in and put some white or some. I'm not going to. I'm going to just leave them as they are. Just to show how easy it is to make a simple little card. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you have, please like and subscribe. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.